To get started on today's project, you're going to need one of the 14 inch wreath forms that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. Uh, this one happens to be gold, but you can use whatever color that you have. You're also going to need one roll of red deco mesh from Dollar Tree. And then you're also going to need one roll of this really nice jute colored snowball mesh that you can pick up from Hobby Lobby. This comes in their Christmas section. Now this is what I like. Um, their Christmas section, when I picked this up, was 60% off. It's normally $7.99, so that made it a really good deal. And this is five and a half inches at 30 feet. Even in their Christmas section and in their Thanksgiving section, when it's discounted, they do have neutral colored mesh. So you can always sneak over there to get a good deal on the mesh when the rest of their items are on sale. You also need a package of pipe cleaners cut in half. You want to cut your mesh into strips of six inches and we're going to be doing the curl method today and that's very simple. You just start at one end and slowly roll up. And you want two curls per bundle. Take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around the center. I always like to pull my bundle down so I can get a nice grip and then pinch and twist. Now to attach our bundles onto our wreath form, we're going to be attaching it to the two bars in the middle and in between each section, which is in between each of the crossbars, you're going to be placing eight bundles. And the pattern that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do two of the neutral jute colored and then one red and then two and then one red. I do want some decent red in there, but I want the majority of my base to be the neutral color. So you just wrap your pipe cleaners around both sides of those two bars in the middle, pull nice and tight and give a twist or two. And then I like to pull my pipe cleaners together and then I like to push them forward. This keeps your back looking nice and clean and you're not gonna see these from the front. So again, just stick those pipe cleaners on either side of the two bars in the middle. Pull tight and give a good twist. Pull the ends together and then push them forward and move over your bundle. So I have two of the neutral and now I'm gonna add my red. When you're dealing with such a bright, beautiful red, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, now that may not look like much right now, but once you start filling in your sections, that's going to look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my base and get it done, and then I'll be back. And there you go, I have completed my base. Now I'm really happy with how the coloring came out. I think it is very striking. Now you do need to go back and do a little bit of cleanup with the curl method. Uh, you do tend to get a little bit more fraying with this method than you do with others. And so if you see anything that looks funny that's sticking out, just go through and nip. Even when using good mesh, sometimes you do get a little bit of fraying. So just clean it up. But I'm very happy with my base. Now this is the sign that I've chosen to use on our wreath today. And I did pick this up at craftoutlet.com. And I think that looks so beautiful. That's why I wanted to add a little bit of red 
to pull out that red in the sign. I think that looks so pretty on that. Now this sign does come with a jute cord and it is stapled on. So I'm going to use this to help me attach it to my wreath. But I also want to add two pipe cleaners down here at the bottom. I want to make sure this is nice and secure and then it doesn't go anywhere. So I'll glue one down here in each corner. Make sure your glue is fully set up before you attempt to attach it to your wreath. So the glue is nice and dry. I did take my jute cord here and cut it in half. Now I'm just going to feed these ends down and tie them onto the wire frame. And I like that right in the middle. And like I said, to attach, just feed your rope here and your pipe cleaners down through the mesh and tie it onto your wire frame in the back. You can tie it on anywhere that you need to to get the sign to sit where you want it on your wreath. I have my sign on. Once you get your sign on and you're happy with its placement, you want to make sure to trim your pipe cleaners and then push them forward. And then on the rope here, what I like to do is I do a double knot. And then I add a little bit of hot glue around the knot there so it doesn't come loose. Then I can trim the end. But now my sign is nice and secure and it's not going to go anywhere. We're going to work on the bow now. I found this ribbon at Craft Outlet as well. It is a really good ribbon. And I bought this brand before and it is. It's very nice ribbon. It's nice and thick. And this has a little bit of fuzziness on the sides. But what I like is that it perfectly matches the sign. It has the same little gingerbread boy and girl as the sign. So I was really happy when I saw that they matched. That's why I picked them up. And this one is, let's see, two and a half inches at 10 yards. I will list the item number in the description box below. But I think that's super cute. You want to cut a piece of your ribbon at 32 inches and then you'll need one full length pipe cleaner. I'm just going to make a simple bow. So I'm going to fold it in half and find my center. And I'm going to scrunch my center. And then I'm going to measure at 8 inches from where I pinched and pinch again. Then I'm going to pull that to the center. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure at 8 inches. I'm going to pinch and pull that back to the center. Take my pipe cleaner and wipe it right around the center. Pull it to the back. Give it a good twist. Just open up your loops. Very cute little basic bow. Now I want to put my bow right here in the center at the top and I can already tell I don't like the tails that long so I'm going to be cutting those shorter. And then for the center there I have one of these cute little wood icons that I picked up at Dollar Tree of a little gingerbread and I just stained it with the Waverly Antique Wax so it's nice and dark and I'm just going to put him right in the center to finish off the bow. So I'm going to get my bow attached and my tails trimmed and my little guy glued on and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. And there you go. We are all done. I think the bow came out absolutely adorable. 
I'm very pleased with the end result. I think it looks so cute. Very simple and clean, yet very festive. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.